In the last video, we learned what is a voltage divider and why we need to use a voltage divider to use the light dependent resistor, which is an analog sensor with an Arduino. So to create a voltage divider, I'm going to get another resistor. Remember, voltage divider is connecting two resistors in series. So LDR is already one resistor and we have a second resistor. The second thing to remember is that the LDR when no light was falling on it was around 180 kilo ohms and when light bright light was shining on it it was around 500 ohms and somewhere in between it was 1 kilo ohm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this resistance that I have and I'm going to make it 1 kilo ohm. So 1 kilo ohm means it's around equal to around what is the center point of the light falling on this photoresistor. So I'm going to connect these two resistors in series. You can connect it to either the ground or 5 volt because there is no polarity here. But I'm connecting this to ground so I'm just going to make all these wires black. And then I'm going to connect the 5 volt supply to the other terminal of the photoresistor. And now we want to measure the voltage across the fixed resistor. So I'm going to attach it to the meter. I'm going to take the ground pin to the ground of the Arduino so that we have a we have all the devices uh, on the same ground level in our circuit and I'm going to attach the positive pin to the fixed resistor because we want to measure the voltage drop across the fixed resistor. So my meter is set on voltage and I'm going to start the simulation. So right now uh, remember that the on the LDR if no light is falling then the resistance of the LDR is 180 kilo ohms and the resistance of this is only 1 kilo ohm. So because of this, the voltage drop across the fixed resistor is negligible, 27 millivolt. And as light shines on the LDR and the resistance of the LDR goes down, so if it's around half, then the voltage drop across the fixed resistor is 2.5 volts because right now when remember that when the LDR was around half light intensity then the resistance across the LDR was around 1 kilo ohm and hence both these resistors are right now at around 1 kilo ohm and the total voltage of 5 volt is getting divided between them equally. And then with the fixed resistor remaining at 1 kilo ohm, if I increase the light falling on the LDR, that means its resistance is going down, then we can see the voltage drop across the fixed resistor keeps going higher and higher. And when maximum light is shining on the LDR, which means the resistance of the LDR is now only around 500 ohms, in comparison to uh, this which is 1 kilo ohm. So the voltage drop across the fixed resistor is now 3.3 volts. So with this voltage divider what we know is that when no light shines on the LDR and the fixed resistor is at 1 kilo ohm, the voltage drop across the fixed resistor is negligible at around 27 millivolt. At around the midpoint we have a equal approximately equal voltage division which is around two and a half volt and when bright light is shining on the LDR the voltage drop across the fixed resistor is 3.3 volts. So now that we have a voltage drop which is what we need to use the pins on the Arduino uh, let's see where do we fix the uh, pin Remember that when we were using a PIR sensor or an ultrasonic sensor, we were using the digital pins. But because this is an analog device, we are going to input this to one of the analog pins from A0 to A5. So let's connect A5, pin A5 to our resistor. But here, we can't code uh, this Arduino as it is right now to say that if voltage is across the fixed resistor is less than 2.5 volt which means the LDR is at half way for the light shining we can't program based on the voltage instead what we have to use is the fact that Arduino has an inbuilt 
analog to digital converter adc and what the adc does is based on the voltage it assigns a 10 bit number so when we say 10 bit it means 2 to the power 10 which is 1024 so the way this adc works is that if it detects a voltage of 0 volts then it assigns the number 0 and if it detects a voltage of 5 volts then it assigns it a number of 1023 because 2 to the power 10 is 1024 and we are going the range is between 0 to 1023 and anything in between so a voltage of 2.5 volt will mean 512 number and 2 volt will mean around 400 and 3.5 volts will mean 700 and so forth so the adc does this conversion and in our programming we have to use these numerical values which change based on the change of voltage that is detected with this understanding of how the adc works let's make a smart street light system so what we want is that our street light should glow when the when it is dark uh because when it's night we want the street light to come on and as it becomes morning we want the street light to switch off so to represent the street light i'm going to get a led so i'm going to get a led and uh let's say we are going to attach the led to pin 13 so i'm going to attach the cathode the negative to the ground and i'm going to bring another resistor and we need a resistor because we want to limit the current so i'm going to connect this to pin number 13 and i'm going to change the resistance to uh, around 200 ohm now we come to the coding part so what we want is that our ldr when uh, as it becomes dark so maybe not when it's pitch dark but a little before that when it senses that the light is becoming less it's becoming evening this led should light up So let's say we want that uh, the the midway point was around uh, you know 2.5 volts or the value was 512 so maybe let's keep a value of around 300 so what we are going to say in our code is we are going to get a conditional statement so uh, if then else statement and then i'm going to get a boolean operator because we want to check the value and what is the value we want to check we want to check the value at the a5 pin so we are going to go into input and now we are using a analog pin all these a0 to a5 are analog pins on the other side the pins are digital so we are going to take the analog pin a0 and we are going to use a value uh, of around 300 which means around 1.5 volts which is like it's not pitch dark it's it's slightly you know little less light falling on the ldr and then what what we are saying is if if this is what happens then the output we want is we want the pin 13 to be high because that's when the led or the street light will come on so we are going to say set um pin number 13 to high else which means if it is not that dark there is sunlight or light falling on the ldr then we want the pin to be low this has to be a5 not a0 that is where we have connected the ldr and now uh, let me run the simulation so right now it's a uh, dark uh, and the led is glowing if it's light then the led is not glowing and then we can see uh, sun is shining and let's say it's becoming evening and you know the light falling on the ldr is becoming less and less and less and less when it is around this much light shining on the sensor our led is glowing so in the morning the street light is off and as it becomes evening and the light falling on the uh, on the ldr becomes less the led or the street light comes on so next let's transfer the code to a arduino and see how this setup will work physically so when light is shining on the ldr the led doesn't glow and when we stop the light as if it's evening our led or this smart street light 
comes on so when it's dark it's on and when light falls on the ldr sensor it's sunshine the led doesn't glow so i hope with that you understand how to use analog sensors which you can't connect to the digital pins on the arduino you need to connect them to the analog side and then you have to read the voltage differential and to create a voltage differential we are using this voltage divider so using a voltage divider you can use analog sensors i hope you will try voltage dividers to use analog sensors available on tinkercad that you want to learn how to use with arduino